James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. But remember, you can always find us online at tarpleymusic.com. Uh, today, I've got one of the combos from the Ampeg Rocket Bass series. Now, this is their basically their combo series as well as their uh, introductory level. And this particular one is the 115. So, 200 watts. It's a 15-inch custom Eminence speaker in it and uh, there's a, uh, the Ampeg Legacy preamp that's got a three band EQ as well as it's got a SGT which basically is uh, gonna add some grit there and you got uh, the level of grit as well as the level of the uh, vo volume level for that and then you have an ultra high which is going to articulate a lot of those highs which a lot of your slap guys will like that ultra high on there when they're popping and slapping uh ultra low as well as a three band eq you also have a headphone output and an auxiliary input so if you're sitting around listening to tunes you can actually plug something right in here it will come out the speaker as well as your bass and in the back there's an XLR direct out which is fantastic for bass players they can still have this they've got their own kind of a fold back monitor boom send a direct out to the uh, PA guy uh, and then there is an effects loop as well on this and the other beauty of this is it weighs 34 pounds so not bad at all for a very giggable uh, bass amp 200 watts with the 15 you could definitely uh, do some gigging on that so uh, for these uh, demos we're just gonna kind of run through some of the sounds uh, I'm just going to keep it direct. We're going direct out of that right into the interface. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through uh, playing setting a little bit with ultra uh, normal and then with some ultra high on there with some ultra low and then we will do it with the SGT, the grit uh, on there so you can hear a little bit of that. And of course, miking is always an option. If you wanted to get a little bit more of a roomier sound if you're recording or something, you definitely could just throw a good dynamic mic on there or something record it that way as well. So we're gonna go through, I'm just playing through, you know, standard a PJ bass here. Uh, this is an active bass and there is a negative 15 dB input for active basses as well as just your normal. We will go through all those settings so you can hear what this bass amp sounds like. Thank you. 
heard a lot of the amp settings on its own. Now what are going to sound like in a mix? Towards the end of the mix, I'm going to turn a little bit of that grid on it as well. All right, hit it, boys. So the Ampeg RB115, um, some takeaways with this. First of all, it, you definitely can't tell by, you know, looking at me on a video, but one thing it's nice is the weight. It's, <laughs> it's not too terribly bad uh, to pick up around. And it's built, it's extremely solid. Um, and so from a gigging standpoint, I think it, you know, make a lot of sense. Um, you know, you can definitely, there's enough EQ here with your ultra high and low to dial in uh, a tone. It's going to be a very Ampeg tone, uh, which which is great if you're looking for that, you know, that maybe that one uh, solid tone there. And then you can add a little bit grit on that. I'd like to see a little bit more overdrive from the grit, but it definitely gives you some grit. Uh, of course, you can always just add if you need more overdrive from that. Uh, you know, get a bass overdrive pedal, right? But... Uh, it's the cool part is really really simple and it's from a connectivity standpoint because you can easily put an effects loop in it. It's got a nice XLR direct out already, uh, and you can actually do an ex, uh, external speaker as well or extension speaker if you wanted to do that. You could definitely get an extension cab if you wanted to add some more of that punch and maybe have a couple of tens or something. You can. So it's not only just standalone. So from that standpoint. And the price that it is, I think it's actually a really, really, really good deal for a solid uh, 115. Um, and, you know, if you're uh, gigging or a lot of guys will, will like to use cabs even when they're recording at home just to get that, that more of that bass feel instead of just in the ears because, you know, a lot of times the bass is felt and not necessarily, necessarily heard. So uh, solid, great looking amp, uh, hold solid. Connections are very, very easy. So if you're looking for just kind of an affordable, uh, gigable combo amp, you may want to look at the Rocket Bass series. So we actually have, there are other, you can go down in wattage and up in wattage and stuff, and some features uh, do change. But to me, I really, uh, this is the first one I really wanted to feature because I think 115 is enough power and size. It's very gigable amp, uh, easily practice. Uh, or, you know, if you're in rehearsals or things like that. So, um, but you don't know until you come down and plug it in yourself. So bring your own bass if you would like. That makes the most sense. If not, plenty of basses for you to play. So you can come in, uh, plug into this this Rocket Bass 115. Uh, and if you're looking for, you know, very small at home practice style lamps, still a great series and there are some smaller versions that you can look in as well. So if you are in that, uh, you know, if you're looking for that and you're in the market for one of these, love for you to come down. If you got any interest in that, that would be great. If you enjoyed this video, that's even greater. And you can just hit like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then please do so and just hit the subscribe button there. And of course, if you'd like to know as we drop more videos, because we are constantly dropping videos and expanding our library, it's been great. Uh, just turn on that notifications button right there and we will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.